Thank you, Chairman. We talked a, a moment ago about <clears throat> the unemployment rate going down, but principally because fewer people are in the workforce and, and many have left it. Um, we have an honest disagreement in Congress about what the role of federal spending is in our economy and its recovery. Um, you know, following the numbers, I know after we spent some uh, 800 and some uh, billion dollars, we have 2 million fewer workers today than when the stimulus began. The unemployment rate was predicted to be 6.8 percent this month. We're off by a mile. And many of the economists who are saying don't reduce any spending in Washington today are the same ones who, like Mark Zandi, uh, predicted that by the end of 2010 we would see 4 million new jobs. We actually had 3.3 million fewer. He was off by 7 million jobs. The Joint Economic Committee took a look for the last 40 years at my request over the relationship between uh, federal spending and job creation in the private sector along Main Street. This chart identifies that the, uh, the black line is, uh, is federal spending. The darker blue line, remind me to do a different color on that one, uh, is uh, private payroll employment, not government jobs, jobs along Main Street. What you can see is there is no correlation between two. Actually, I'm wrong. There's a negative correlation. For each of the four decades, as government spending grew, jobs along Main Street actually shrunk. In the next uh, chart, though, it, it shows sort of a different story. Over the last 40 years, we tracked one key indicator. Along with workforce participation and output, key indicator is uh, private investment, business investment. Companies that buy new buildings, new software, new equipment. As you can tell, there is a very high correlation when businesses, large and small, buy buildings, buy equipment, buy software to go along with that new technology, jobs along Main Street grow. As we look forward uh, from here and looking at the data that you have, what indicators uh, are you following that indicate where and at what speed private inve business investment is restoring, is picking up, is still fairly flat. Where is it in America today? <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know that there, um, I don't spend a lot of time looking at, at leading indicators because we're, we're not trying to, to forecast, but I will say um, such things as, as uh, hours worked and things like that uh, give us some idea of uh, future job growth and future investment levels. Uh, in the data, things like temporary help tends to come back quicker than, than other, uh, other types of jobs. Uh, those are the sort of things that, that, are, that are, tend to be the sort of leading indicators of, of uh, investment and job growth. Are there any sectors that would reflect, obviously, new buildings, you're looking at construction, um, new equipment, uh, you'd be looking at the more durable goods, correct? The larger types of equipment and um, new software, are there within those sectors signs we need to be following? Well, I, I do think the, the uh, equipment and software investment out of the, uh, the, the GDP numbers um, does track pretty well with payroll jobs. And uh, if that tends to get out ahead of payroll jobs, it, it shows up in productivity gains, but it also signals sometimes uh, future job growth. How many jobs are we short of the pre-recession level right now? We're down about 7.3 million jobs. How large would the monthly job gains need to be over the next 18 months for employment to return to that level, to the pre-recession level? Uh, I think we're looking at, sorry, I'm doing my math here, yeah. excuse me for, uh, I, guess we're, I guess we're looking at, um, Four hundred thousand? Does that sound about right? About. I need to be higher than that. Is it higher than that? Okay. okay. So um, that's my my back of the envelope estimate. If we continue at around two hundred thousand or so job um, gains per month, how long will that take for us to get? My my gut feel is around five years at that level. Your thoughts? Yeah, I haven't done that calculation, but it, but if you're talking about you're talking about something like two and a half million a year. Uh, yeah, you're talking about, well, certainly well over three years. I haven't, haven't calculated okay. it out, but 
What monthly job gains? So we sort of have an indicator, and I'm running out of time. How much job gains a month is needed just to keep up with population growth? We're often asked that question. Yeah, that that seems to vary over time. Um, I would say right now, probably at, at least on the order of uh, 130, 140,000 uh, jobs a month, just to maintain uh, with with the uh, population growth. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Congressman. And uh, Congressman Hinchy. Thank you very much. 